Hello and welcome back to The Wargamer and another painting tutorial. This time I'll be showing you how to paint the Soviet Minesweeper from Warlord Games Cruel Seas. For this tutorial I'll be using the Army Painter range of paints. Start off by painting your ship by applying a primer. This will give us a better surface to paint from by allowing the later layers of paint to adhere to the surface of the ship. I would recommend a spray primer, particularly the, the Army Painter's Uniform Grey Primer. This paint is a great starting colour as we can not only easily cover with other paints, but it also gives us a good starting colour for the ship's hull. The hull of the ship already has its base colour of Uniform Grey, so we don't need to do much else to it. However, to help bring out those details, we can dry brush a lighter coloured paint over the surface. For this task, we'll be using Ash Grey. To dry brush, take a medium sized brush and dip it into your paint. Remove the excess onto a piece of paper until only a small amount of paint remains in the bristles. Then lightly drag your brush over the surface of the ship. You'll find that the paint will gather on the hard edges and raise details, leaving the darker uniform grey visible in the recesses. By dry brushing in this way, we can quickly and easily pick out many of the ship's details. However, for some of the larger areas, you will instead want to paint them using ash grey and a regular brush technique. On this ship, these areas include the storage bins, torpedoes and lifeboats. With the largest parts of the ship completed, we can now turn our attention to some of the smaller details. The first of these will be the rails that run along the sides of the ship, as well as the smaller guns dotted around the deck. We will be painting all of these areas using Necromancer Cloak. To paint the red areas of the miniature, which include the bombs on the deck and also the red band around the stack using Vampire Red. Painting the red band will involve some freehand work, so take your time and use a thin brush and slightly watered down paint. We will then be painting the remaining yellow coloured bombs using Basilisk Brown. The faces and hands of the crew members are very small, so it's not necessary to paint them. However, if you're feeling brave, you can base coat these small areas using cobalt skin. With all of our base coats completed, we can now begin applying some washes to the miniature. The first wash we'll be using is Dark Tone, however we won't be applying it straight from the pot as it will be much too strong. Instead we want to create a mixture of one part quick shade mixing medium and one part Dark Tone. This will reduce the strength of the wash, creating a much more subtle shading result. With your wash mixed, you can now apply it across any grey areas of the miniature. Focus this wash into the recesses of the hull, but for the remaining sections such as depth charges, mines, guns and crew uniforms, as well as the lifeboats, you can apply the wash across the whole area. The wash should gather in the recesses, creating the effect of shadows, which will help to improve the overall level of detail. And here we have the completed Soviet Minesweeper. You may have noticed a few extra details such as the markings, paint chips and rust which I applied using the same steps detailed in my Cruel Seas Extra Details video. Whilst I focus on the minesweeper for this video, you could easily apply the same techniques to other ships in the Soviet fleet. You can find a full list of all the paints that I've used in this tutorial in the description below, along with any other equipment I've used to create this video, such as my everlasting wet palette. If you enjoyed this video, do let me know in the comments below, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to check out my Patreon page if you'd like to support me in making these videos. If you have any questions or would just like to chat with others who enjoy my channel, I've set up a Discord server, which you can find a link to in the description below. So the only thing left to say is, thanks for watching, and goodbye.